All right, y'all. So I uh, did some game hunting. Went to Goodwill, didn't find nothing, but then I actually went to a couple, uh, to a resale store, I guess you could call it, for games. And uh, happened to, I was going to pick up a uh, Sega Genesis here. Um, and while I was there, I seen this guy. He was turning some stuff in. And uh, I had to stop him because uh, literally... Uh, I seen him bringing in an original Xbox, so we'll get there in a second. Uh, one second. So yeah, let me start here. So like I said, I was picking up a. I wanted. Well, I actually just went there to see whatever I can get. But I was looking at a Sega Genesis online, and the guy was trying to sell it for fifty bucks, which I thought was a pretty good deal. But I was trying to talk him down to go pick it up, and I went and found this one. It comes with cords, one controller, AV cables, all for forty bucks. So that was a pretty solid steal. Um, and then picked up some games for it. So let's see here. For the Sega Genesis, I got a bunch of games here. Uh, lots of sports games. Nothing crazy. I didn't want to spend like another 40 bucks on like Sonic or something. So NHL 96. Uh, that was actually uh, $3.99. And it was buy two for $5.99, get one free. Got Jeopardy. This one was only two bucks. Solid deal. Uh, Caesar's Palace. Don't know anything about this game. Three ninety nine should be kind of fun. Uh, NHL. Five ninety nine, and then uh, Greatest Heavyweights. A little boxing game. Thought that'd be fun. That one's ten bucks. Uh, thought it'd be kind of cool. There's a couple extra here. Uh, what is this? Pac Man Two: The New Adventures. Thought that'd be kind of fun. And then uh, FIFA Soccer ninety seven. So just some sports games. Uh, kind of fun on that. And then. Uh, I bought an extra controller here as well, just because uh, I wanted to have two. Now, like I said, as I was checking out with all this stuff, I seen this guy come in with this. And uh, he's like, I, I heard him talking about it. He's like, I just want to get rid of it. And uh, so I haven't even looked at all the stuff that was in here. But um, there's this uh, Xbox Sonic Heroes. I don't know if that actually works or not. I don't even know if the Xbox works. Uh, he said it should. I heard him say that he had two and one of them he knew didn't work. But I think uh, for the price I got it, which I'll tell you in a second, I think it ended up being a good deal regardless because it looks like I got one controller. Uh, there's no there's no actual branded controllers, no original ones, but um, second GameStop or whatever kind of controller this is. Um, so two controllers, uh, third controller, so another generic controller, a uh, random Xbox 360 controller um, so with the charger, so that was pretty snazzy. No battery pack on that, but oh well. Um, and then the only thing I haven't seen, so here's the Xbox AV cables, which is solid, and hopefully this is the power cable, because if not, I'm kind of screwed on that, but I think so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's the power cable. So Xbox 3 controllers, Xbox 360 controller, and then this just looks like a uh, uh, like a little switch. So I can plug in like a Wii, PlayStation, Xbox, all at one, and uh, just switch between them and the AV cables. But for that whole lot, all this stuff, uh, the guy gave it to me for 20 bucks. so that was definitely a solid steal. I went to Goodwill hoping to find something, didn't find anything. They, I think they only had like a Sims game there and then went to this other shop. And I don't know if the, the prices on these Genesis games were any good. Oh, that wasn't even all the stuff, actually. So after I got that Xbox, I went back and picked up some Xbox games. So after I bought the Xbox, because the, the shop I was in was like, you have to do the deal outside. So I was like, fair enough, you know, whatever. Uh, actually, not those. Uh, so I bought, went back in and got some classics. And then my girlfriend wanted one, so I... Had to get one for her too. Um, but uh, so I got Finding Nemo for her. Uh, you know, I had to get Halo. Uh, so this is Halo Combat Evolved. Gun, classic game, love it. Uh, played that a lot on the PlayStation. Uh, so happy to get it on the Xbox. Halo 2, I, I literally played the shit out of this game growing up and uh, it should be a lot, a lot of fun uh, getting back into it. I got three controllers, so I have to pick up one more to do four player split screen. And then this, I was actually, I was trying to buy with the Genesis, but I guess it, they couldn't find it. So I, uh, what's it called? When I went back in to buy the Xbox games, they're like, oh, we found this game for you. And I, I honestly thought I had already bought it and rang it up, but since I was outside 
setting up the uh, or buying the Xbox deal, uh, I didn't even know. And so, and then I actually stopped at another store because we were getting some dinner, and there was another little uh, like bookstore there that had some games. So I just picked up uh, SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs 3, uh, the original. I'm pretty sure I already have U.S. Navy SEALs 2, which is the one I played when I was a kid, and then just some Lord of the Rings games for the original Xbox. So uh, huge pickups. Super excited to get all these games plugged in and see if they all work and and whatnot so uh yeah just wanted to share it well with you guys so later all right so just a quick update uh, i just plugged in the xbox and uh, it looks like everything works um one of the controllers it doesn't look like it works but uh one of them does and i haven't tried the other one yet but it's pretty sweet let me switch it over yeah so plugged it in i got it hooked up through like a av to hdmi uh updater I got it loading. It says I'm waiting to load the map, so we're waiting to get back in the game to see if that works. But uh put in Halo 2. It's reading the disc, which is good, so I'm assuming it's just I'm used to, uh, you know, SSDs loading games versus an Xbox. Might take a minute, but we'll see how it goes. Catch you in a second. And it works. Um, have to, uh, gonna have to get a CRT because uh, the input lag is, is pretty tough on a 4K, but... I am running it through an adapter as well, but it's super sick. All right, y'all. So it's like 11.30ish, I think now, p.m. And oh, it's actually midnight. And we actually just picked up an extra lot from the guy that sold me the Xbox, which I found out it was being modded Xbox. And then two of those controllers actually worked. Um, but when he got home, he messaged me that he had a couple extra games and he had some other things that... I might be interested in and I don't even think y'all are ready to see what see what I picked up. I don't even know exactly what's in here. I know a lot. I know kind of what it's supposed to be, but I'm super excited to go through it and actually uh, see it so much. Shit. So uh, let me flip it around and I'll show you guys as well and we'll go through it together. So to start off, uh, they have the Atari 2600, I believe. Um, he said that he, it, you know, it was complete in box, but... After looking for his stuff, he said that it was missing, like, let me see what the text message said here. Um, he couldn't find the AC adapter or RF connector and one of the joysticks for the Atari. Um, does have the paddles. He said one of the paddles is a little loose, um, but the turn dial still works. But he decided to throw in the Atari flashback, um, you know, as like a little throw in, which is awesome. So I can play that. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, an Atari with the original box from way back in the day, and, uh, not 100% sure what's in here, but we're gonna, oh, that's actually open, so let's see here. I think he said there was, like, a stand for cartridges or something in here. Can't really get it with the one hand here, so let's see if I can just go like this. All right, so I dropped my phone, end of the recording. Uh, oh, there we go, it's starting to come up here. There we go, now we're cooking with Crisco. So. Oh, dropped it again. Come on, it's in there. All right, well, hold on. we'll just put you down, and I'll start it back up in a second. All right, so we got the box undone, and indeed it has a stand for some of the old cartridges here of all the games that he had. Um, so what do we got? We got Asteroids, uh, Astro Blast, um, that's pretty neat, Atlantis, looks pretty cool. These are dusty. Uh, this one's used. Uh, miscellaneous loose cartridge. Don't know what that... Oh! It's a little dusty on there. What does that say? Frogs and flies, I think. Dusty. Ooh, look at that. Original Donkey Kong. By Nintendo. Solid. Got uh, bowling. What 
is this one? Uh, championship soccer. This one's combat. Use with joystick controllers. That looks pretty fun. A Yars Revenge. Is that like a giant moth or something? Going in. Don't know much about that one. Demon Attack. Boom, boom, boom. A one and two player game. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. This is like a knockout. Like. Oh, this one's a little extra dusty. Uh, Mega Mania. Space Nightmare. So what is that? That's one, two, three. I'm gonna have to clean up all this stuff, but six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so twelve games just right there. Oh, what else is in this box? Um, oh, complete in box for, or I don't know. This doesn't feel like it has a cartridge in it, but a box for, yeah, no cart in here, but this is for River Raid. I didn't see that game. But, uh, looks like the, the joystick's in here, and not exactly, oh, this is for the connector, I think, AV, something we need to do. I don't know. It's a little earlier than my time, so I'm not 100% sure on how this adds up, but a bunch of manuals in here, too, so super, super cool. Uh, let's move on to the next box. So, uh, I think we should just open this box first. This one's kind of got some goodies in it. Um, so in here, hopefully I don't have any addresses, but I can edit it out. Uh, he included an original Game Boy, uh, green Game Boy. No back on there, but maybe I can find one somewhere. Um, as you can see, there's some Super Nintendo controllers. So three controllers and then boom, Super Nintendo, right? Um, these are actually more Atari games. So what do we got? Stampede, Space Jockey, Sky Jinx, Pac-Man. That's another four games. Uh, Star Master, five. Man, so many Atari games. Is that another Pac-Man? And we got two Pac-Mans. Oh, there's the River Raid that have, I have the box for that. Centipede, classic. Miss Pac Man. Ooh. Missile Command. Uh, pole Position. Well, F1 Racing, looks like. And tennis. Target Fun Man. So many Atari games. A stack more. This is crazy. Combat. Kaboom. What is this guy? Another combat? Alright, so we got... Oh, this... Yeah, we got two of that. Um, Space War. Oh, we got E.T. Classic. Cubert. So many uh, tele games, uh, Space Invaders. I think we have two of those. Super Breakout, tele games. <laughs> oh, this tele games nine, tele games twenty seven. We got Star Wars, Night Driver. What's this one? Basic programming. All right. Grand Prix, Pitfall, uh, I think we got one more stack here, Prol, Cosmic Arc, when he said, he said he has, when, he, when I was texting him, he's like, yeah, I, I have, probably have over a dozen games, I wasn't expecting this many, that's another copy of Centipede, and uh, some Asteroids, so what is this, we got... 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 32. 32 plus 12 is 44. 44 games for the Atari. That is insane. Green Game Boy. Um, so these are, I believe... The, these, are, these are Super Nintendo games, because uh, we got the Super Nintendo. So Madden 94, uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Vegas Stakes, and then we got some more games over here. So uh, Donkey Kong Country, uh, what is this? Uh, Pillow Twins? Is that what, how that pronounced, maybe? Uh, oh. Uh, that's the Super Game Boy. So that's pretty sweet. Honestly, not too sure on how that what that is, but we'll find out. Um, Power Rangers. Uh, another Vegas Stakes. NCAA Basketball. Paperboy 2. Illusion Gaia. Illusion of Gaia, I should say. Uh, Super Play Action Football. Stunt Race FX. And Super Mario World. Now, let's see here. Uh, Game Genie. Solid. And then I think these are some complete and boxes. So Sim City. OG, let's see if it's in here. I think these are, but let's just be sure. Yep, so we got it complete in box. I don't see any paperwork, but I don't know if, I mean, it's got the box, so I don't know if these actually had paperwork. Can't do that with two hands. Uh, Star Fox. This is actually a really nice box, considering how uh, old it is. Can't do it with two hands. Save this up. Oh, I turned into Bowser's worst nightmare. Sure did. So let's see. This one has some more stuff. Always turn the power switch of the control deck off before loading or removing game pack. And then Star Fox there. And. Looks like Blazion. And then just a nice cartridge in there. So, a uh, huge haul. Like I said, this one has three controllers, all the hookups. A little bit yellow on the uh, Nintendo, but, you know, to be expected. Uh, no biggie. Uh, it says everything's worked, so I'll definitely have to check into that. Um, I can't check the Atari, unfortunately, because it doesn't have the AV hookups. But here, let me switch this back over. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to check the Atari, but I'm sure I'll be able to find um, either the other hookups. And I don't even if I have the hookups, I got to get the TV that I'll be able to actually use them with. I'm pretty sure because I think those have those prong connectors, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's been a while. And even, even still, I'm a little younger than that is. But uh, for all of this, um, mind you, this is the same person that gave me that X, well, sold me that Xbox. Um, just met him at the store. I was at a game store and seen him bring it in, and he was looking to, you know, trade it in, and or not even trade it in. He's looking to just sell it for cash. And I was checking out because I was actually buying that Sega Genesis, and uh, I literally had to stop him. I was like, hey, you know. Like, let me buy that Xbox. And people in the store are like, you got to go outside the store. You know, it's totally fine. You want to sell it, but you got to go outside the store. So, um, mind you, that was the Xbox. Ended up being a modded original Xbox. Um, only two of the three controllers actually worked. Um, actually, there was one game and an Xbox 360 controller uh, with the charging cable. No back on that. Uh, I got all that Xbox stuff for 20 bucks, And then the rest of this, all the Atari games, the Atari, uh, Joy-Cons, uh, Super Nintendo, three controllers, all the hookups, the original Game Boy, 
And I don't even know how many games there are for the Super Nintendo here. Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 games. The Game Genie. And the uh, Super Game Boy Cart. All for $180. So $200 for the entire lot. Um, couldn't believe it. Literally uh, insane. So... I just wanted to share that all with you guys, and, uh, you know, I'll probably be making more videos uh, soon, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm super excited to you know, get all this stuff hooked up, and, you know, I am actually have a, uh, there was an offer up offer for a CRTV, CRT TV, um, he was just giving it away, so I'm hoping to go be able to pick that up tomorrow, be able to hook up some of these systems to it. Um, that Xbox actually came with a a uh, little adapter that actually, uh, you know, you can plug in like the PlayStation, the, the you know, Wii or something, and then also like your Sega, and it's got like little clicks, so you can plug it all into there, and that plugs into one port on the TV, so it saves a little bit of space for that as well. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, other than that, y'all have a great one, and thank you for watching. Yo, I just had to do another little follow-up here, because uh, same lot, same person, uh, I guess he forgot a couple things he was going to give me the other day. And so I just went and picked him up. And you're not going to believe what I what else he had. And, and again, I didn't pay any more than the 180 for the whole lot. But this is a couple extra things that uh, he didn't throw in there. So um, let me show you guys real quick. So I just want to keep it a surprise here because this is crazy. So uh, here, we'll go with the, the least crazy here. So he had an uh, Xbox game. Uh, Jet Set Radio Future. I don't know too much about this game. Uh, complete with the manuals, which is pretty crazy. Um, so to play that. Um, and a Yua, a Oya. I don't know too much about this system other than it was like a Kickstarter type thing. Uh, I hear it didn't go too well, but I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, decided to plug it in, see what it is. I really don't know much about it, but I was like, sure, I'll take it. And then this is this is the this is the kicker right here. Complete inbox Mario Paint has the mouse has the mouse pad, uh, both manuals, cartridge, everything, um, all included, which is insane. Um, that's awesome. And all like I said, um, you know, it was only one hundred eighty dollars for the whole lot. Like I said, uh, the whole the whole lot, the SNES, the Atari, all the games. Uh, even with the Xbox and then the couple controllers, uh, everything was two hundred dollars flat. Which, I mean, I don't know. It's it's an insane deal. Um, and I, just to think, I, I wouldn't even have, I wouldn't even have had this deal in my lap if I didn't stop him at the game store because he was about to trade in the Xbox with the controllers, all that. And I literally, I was checking my stuff out at the time, and I literally had walked over and I was like, "Hey, hold on, you know, let me, can I get that from you? Can I buy it off you?" And, started at all so uh big shout out to keelan awesome dude um thank you for everything if you watch the video super awesome uh but yeah that's all i pretty much have just wanted to show you those extra couple finds uh later